Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a super fun video, thrifting in Lisbon. So this video is just some vintage stores that I popped into and then the most exciting part, the flea markets. So brace yourselves because there are some insane pieces. So this was a Humana vintage store, but I do have other stores which are more like charity shops, which you'll see in another video because I did film it and I'm doing it in a separate video. But I love the color of this coat. I had the fur going all the way down the front, the fur on the sleeves, and then this coat, very similar vibes to the last one with the fur down the front, fur on the sleeves, very drawn to that if you can tell, but the colour of this one was already doing it for me, but considering it was actually like a vintage shop, the prices weren't too bad, 28 euros for that I don't think is too bad, especially compared to some other prices in other vintage shops in Lisbon, which were more similar to like London prices in vintage shops, so this was a different one I went to, this was more expensive, but it was very cool, they had a lot of cool things, I loved this suede waistcoat, I'm really into waistcoats at the moment, this denim one however, I love so like 20 euros for that and it was 28 for the coat this denim waistcoat though look at the detail on it obsessed I friggin loved it you see throughout the video that I was very drawn to these ribbed knit fur panel jackets I did see some absolutely gorgeous ones and now I'm in a different vintage store how satisfying are those shirts by the way this one was quite expensive and it had like a 50% and 30% of sale most things which I don't think it was a sale price. I think that was a normal price and they were just saying it was a sale, you know, that marketing trick. These pants are like these cargo, um, car army cargo camo pants. It's a cool, groovy, funky printed long sleeve shirt. This rail was 50% off and I don't know what it was, but some this caught my eye and I don't know why because it's not something I would usually be drawn to, but I love the quarter zip on it and I love the pale pink. But overall, vintage shops weren't my favourite, but we're getting on to the good part soon with the flea markets. But even in London, like vintage stores, they just aren't really my favourite. Here we go, guys, the flea markets. This was honestly my favourite activity. So they're on every Tuesday and every Saturday from 9am and it was just the best morning activity. How gorgeous is this long red leather jacket? I wish I had an empty suitcase because the amount of stuff I could have bought, stunning fur coats. There was a lot of winter, autumn stuff out. I didn't really see very many summer bits. Everyone had their like winter autumn stuff there. I was a little bit upset that it wasn't loads of summer clothes because summer clothes abroad are just different. So I feel like I'm gonna have to go to Spain or Portugal to go to flea markets just for the summer clothes in summer because they're just different, they're insane. But there was big bundles of clothes, just like in car boots in the UK, but you just had to like have a big old rummage through. But for some reason, these ones were more expensive than like the people who had their clothes up on rails. <laughs> Very similar style jacket to the fair panelled one, but this one was suede all over and then was ribs at the bottom and at the cod. This was my first purchase from the flea market. It was from this lady that was there every week. It was pretty much the same people there every week in the same spots, but that denim waistcoat was two euros, but it was full of like jewelry, loads of different things, like so many just like random things. If you couldn't tell from this clip in the previous clip, the fur trim obsession continues. Just fur in general, like how amazing is that fur coat, another gorgeous fur jacket, and this red leather jacket, stunning. Saw this gorgeous, genuine leather brown waistcoat, but sadly it would have been too big for me. This brown long leather jacket though, how amazing, but it had a few holes in the back, and I did ask the lady how much, and she said 50 euros, and I was like, mm, a bit steep considering the condition of it. This was one of my favourite purchases. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have already seen this. I screamed when I saw it. I'm so sad that I didn't get this. Even my mum was like, what? And I was like, shh. But I did get this one. I didn't have more cash on me the day before. And now I look back, I think I prefer the other one that I showed before. But it is what it is. Also, not sure if I pointed out, but I think we're on like, this is my third trip to the flea market now. She really liked the diamond tees on this denim midi skirt. It was three euros, but I have enough denim skirts, so obviously I didn't get it. This top isn't something I would normally wear, but I thought it was quite cute. I quite like the cut of it at the front. Um, See, this was a woman who had stuff, her stuff in like piles, but it was, they weren't just like all thrown on, like they were folded and it was a lot easier to look through. I actually really like this top. Really drawn to the diamond tees this day, wasn't I? This was one of my favourite stalls. I love this stall and their prices are really good as well. And actually this denim jacket behind, like a denim blazer, I actually really love the wash on it. I put it on my Instagram, like on a thrift or ditch and loads of you said no. Well, people on Instagram said no, but I actually really like it. <music> 
so a cute little hello kitty cap and then this next suede jacket obsessed if i didn't have a red leather jacket at home and i had more space i would have got this five euros for a real suede red jacket i'm on the hunt and have been for ages for some colored leather jackets and i saw this lime green one i think it was like four or five euros but i just couldn't really see myself wearing it even though i'm literally wearing lime green cardigan there i was obsessed with this quilted gilet blue is my favorite color but don't need any more gilets again another really nice leather waistcoat but again it just would have been far too big on me i'm obsessed with this i kind of i'm kind of regretting not getting it why didn't i get that i actually really was into this red stitch on this denim jacket as well i'm obsessed with this i told you guys that there was a theme throughout this video the cut of this leather jacket was perfect it's just such a shame it was so small i saw these reebok like trousers not really cargoes kind of cargoes but not really but i think they were three quarter lengths i bought my last item from the flea market at the next store it was like full of loads of leather goods loved the color of this leather jacket but you'll see in a whole scene.